Hey guys, welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. My name is Emily. This video is another brand review for a brand new company. They did reach out to send me the puzzle, but this is completely an honest opinion. They know that I can speak negatively or positively depending on what I experience and they are not sponsoring. They just gave me the puzzle. So the brand that we are talking about today is called Soonness and the puzzle that they sent me is called Marine Life. I believe they only have two puzzles available. They have Marine Life and then they have Forest Life. They are these um, very bright and colorful cartoon style puzzles. It is an artist based brand. So Soon, who is the founder of it, she's the one who currently creates the images, but she is wanting to expand to incorporate more artists and I just love supporting, again, small businesses. So before I get into all the nitty gritty about the brand, let's just go ahead and open this box up. I'll show you what it looks like and we'll do the puzzle and I will sh share my thoughts and opinions at the very end. So let's just get into this. So here is the box, very vibrant, it is matte. It did arrive with cellophane on top, but um, I took it off for the video. So this is what the front looks like. All the edges are just the image extended, but again, very bright and colorful. On the back, we do have the full image and then things about it. It does also have this little blurb that I'll read. It says, hello, I am Nina. Welcome to my marine life. I am hiding in 10 different spots. I hope you find me. I actually put the puzzles together. Good luck. Oh, well, that's cool. So it, oh, it's almost like a seek and find puzzle at the same time. I did not know that. So let's just open her up. Oh, it does look like they have a little message inside. It says, don't forget that the world is a beautiful place. There is much more good in the world than evil. Inside the box, we do have a full graphic poster. So that way we can have the full image in a larger form. I love this. Um, because I do not have good eyesight, so having it printed out is just helpful, and it looks so fun. And then inside we also have a Ziploc puzzle bag, which is so nice because then we can just reuse it if we are giving it away or just keeping everything nice and tidy if we're traveling. Um, having the Ziploc versus just one you cut open is always nice. So let's just check out the pieces. example of the pieces and I'm hoping it's coming off on camera of just how bright and colorful these pieces are. They also have no shine on them which I love matte puzzle pieces because I do work underneath the light so it prevents glare which is awesome. They also are traditional puzzle shapes and a really decent thickness. Like I'm very impressed with the puzzle quality so far, at least the piece quality. Um, totally what I love, you know, just traditional cardboard backing. Very bright, matte, thick. It also doesn't look like there's too much puzzle dust, just a little bit of like residual dust, but nothing crazy. So I'm excited to jump into this. So let's just get started. All right, I just finished sorting pieces. Let me show you what I've done so far. As always, we have the box of about half the pieces that I'll sort through later as it goes. Since it's more like a collage type puzzle, I feel like just grabbing pieces as I go works better than you're like doing a huge sort, but I did get some sections together. Um, I have here, which I believe is the Marine Life words. You have just plain blue. I have some characters that I've already started to put together. Some coral, I'm guessing what you would call it. Um, very, very distinct pieces and textures. Here we have words and signs, the bubble letters. This is another form of <laughs> marine algae and then edge pieces. And then we have these little like race car fish is what I'm calling them um, that are scattered throughout the puzzles. So there is where I'm at. Now I get to do the puzzle, starting with the edges.
there is one thing that I did notice that's a con, very mild, because I'm hoping it washes off, but my hands are starting to get dyed blue. Um, I mean, again, it is a very vibrant puzzle, but I don't know if you can tell. They're just, um, they just look super dirty, but it's just like the ink rubbing off, so just wanted to mention that. Alright, good morning. I finished the puzzle last night and before I get into all the details and my thoughts and opinions, I want to give you a close-up view because there's so much happening in this puzzle. It made me so happy. I'll show you some of my favorite characters in it and then I'll go into all the details. So here is the full image and then here is one of my favorite characters, just this dude knitting away. I have this, which I'm sure some of you may relate to, where it's like the husband is waiting for the, the girl fish to get ready. We have a little gym over here where we have a crab doing weights and some crunches from a turtle. Love this little section. For some reason, this dude with the top hat is just really cute in my opinion. And then this sounds like a good Sunday afternoon. So. Those are some of my favorite characters, but there's tons of little scenes on here um, where it's just like different things to look at, so it's really fun. How did I forget mentioning this guy with his little shell computer? <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the details. All right, I am back. As you can tell, this puzzle is so fun. There's so much stuff happening in it. It's a really nice collage puzzle with that seek and find element to find the character, which I forgot her name. It is... Nina, right? Nina. So I did find a whole 10 of Nina. Um, pretty easy to see where she is, but that's a nice little added feature to the puzzle. Again, very bright, very colorful, really saturated pieces to the point that it was staining my hands, but did wash off completely fine. But something to note if you were doing this puzzle, then like rushing out the door to go to a restaurant or something, you may want to wash your hands because they did look very grimy with blue underneath my fingernails. I should have taken like the after because it was 
pretty apparent that there is like a staining happening on my hands. So something to note, but that's really like the only fault I could find with this puzzle. Um, there was maybe four times that a puzzle piece ended up in the wrong spot, but it's pretty easy to decipher. You could easily tell that it wasn't quite right. But other than that, the interlock was really nice. You could pick up huge sections at a time, move them around. The company is based out of Canada, but they do sell here in the US on Amazon for $25 per puzzle. They have Marine Life, and again, it does have a sister puzzle, which is called Forest Life, which I'm really contemplating buying because I enjoyed this one so much. I'm not just saying that because I, they gave me this puzzle. Like, this is super fun. I'm really excited to have discovered this brand because they gave me the puzzle, and now I don't wanna buy more from them. Not only was the image super fun, but the quality was everything that I wanted. You know, it had really nice pieces, has really beautiful color, really fun to do. It really checked all the boxes for me. I can deal with washing my hands after doing this puzzle. So for me, not a big deal. Now I do wanna be 100% transparent, and this just may be an Amazon warehouse issue, which I have realized my Amazon warehouse has really been I don't know, dropping the ball when it comes to shipping, they don't actually put it in its proper shipping containers. So the first one that did arrive to me did arrive damaged, but it was not the brand's fault. It was definitely like an Amazon fault because why would you put your puzzle in just like a plastic bag and then ship it? Like that doesn't protect it at all. So it did arrive all all dented up, but again, not the brand's fault. This has happened to more than just like this puzzle. It's been happening in it. It's been happening way often that you just don't put the right product in the right container. Like they don't put it in a box, they just put it in a bag and everything just arrives all dented and broken. So anyone else having that issue with Amazon? Um, Cause even like the other day, sorry, this is going on a tangent on Amazon shipping, but my clothes that I purchased on Amazon arrived just in this clear cellophane bag. So you could easily tell what was in there cause there was no outside shell, which I understand it's like cutting down on shipping waste, but also, Everyone can see when I'm ordering and coming to my house and things are arriving damaged or ripped or broken because they're just not shipping it properly. Anyways, that's a whole other story. It wasn't the brand's fault, but I did want to mention that because I'm curious if anyone else is having that issue when they are getting their puzzles shipped from Amazon. Any other brand I've been having fine with, like Odyssey Fine Puzzles, they just put it in a cardboard box. Same with Serious Puzzles or Puzzle Warehouse. But for some reason, Amazon thinks the cardboard box is enough to protect it to get to my house and it just isn't. So anyways, totally side note. In general, I really liked this puzzle brand. Really interested in buying more from them in the future, even though technically I didn't buy this puzzle. I do plan on buying the Forest Light puzzle or putting it, I feel like it's at this point in the year where I should put it on like my wish list for Christmas because I really enjoyed it. I really recommend it to you if this is your style of puzzle. I know the cartoons type things isn't for everybody, but I really had fun with it. I feel like it'd be a good like family one because it's very e it was a very easy puzzle and I could see it working with a larger family if you're like doing it on a trip or something or if it's like a cold winter night and you guys want something to do together. It's just really fun and again, pretty easy to find the pieces. So that's it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next one. Bye.